Yeah, I just finished uh chapter six of the subtle art of not giving a fuck by Mark Manson, and this chapter is called "You're Wrong About Everything, But So Am I," and he immediately went into like how it's a healthier approach to look at your thoughts, your beliefs, your ideologies. Is wrong because when you do that, even as uncomfortable as that is, once you do that, what that outlook does is it opens your mind up to be able to receive um, information. So it allows you to learn, it allows you to grow, it allows you to evolve as an individual because. Being obsessed with being right when you have those beliefs, those ideologies, those values, it hinders you from that, from evolving and growing as an individual. And um, he gave like a couple examples of uh, beliefs that were considered true at one point in time. And now they have been proven to be untrue. One example was uh, surgeons used to believe that cutting they had to cut someone open and cause bleeding in order to possibly cure a disease. Uh, it was a point in time when astronomers used to believe that the sun revolved around the earth. We know that those examples are not true now, but uh, those astronomers, those surgeons, they accepted the fact that they were untrue now, even though that they thought that then, because if they still felt like they had to cut someone open to cure diseases, um, there would be a hindrance today because they have better information. So they allowed themselves to open their mind up to new information. So that was pretty much the uh, core of what he meant by you're wrong about everything and so am I. So it wasn't so much as you're wrong. Like some things you not wrong about, but at least entertaining the idea that you're wrong allows you to receive new information and in turn will make you a better person. And he also was saying you can't try to be perfect and correct about everything. You have to know that you can only be less wrong than you were before about a situation or you know the day before whatever you were wrong about you can only be less wrong about it you can never be perfect you should strive for truth and strive for perfection but you will never obtain truth and perfection it's just all about the process of learning you know that's what it's about and um uh, because see like when you get stuck uh, and stubborn about your beliefs and your thoughts, your values, your ideologies, what that does is uh, it makes you want to feel like what you believe is certain. And I'm going to read what he said about certainty. He said, uh, instead of striving for certainty, we should be in constant search of doubt. Doubt about our own beliefs, doubt about our own feelings, Doubt about what the future may hold for us unless we get out there and create it for ourselves. Instead of looking to be right all the time, we should be looking for how we're wrong all the time because we are. Because like a lot of shit that I used to believe when I was younger, whatever that may be, a lot of that shit I don't believe no more. Uh, and I'm pretty sure... From that experience, a lot of shit that I believe now, I won't believe in the near future. Uh, so, you know, one thing that he did was he was saying that you should be less certain of yourself. And it was three questions that he said. Uh, one was, what if I'm wrong? So basically, you know, you have to ask yourself these questions. Now, these difficult questions, but... It's a question nonetheless, but it's just to open you up. Like, you know, what if I'm wrong? You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, sometimes you're not wrong, but that's a question to ask yourself. Another question is, uh, what would it mean if I were wrong? So, um, 
he said that uh you know is he said Aristotle wrote it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. So you have to decide on you know if you were wrong what would be the best possible outcome? You know what I'm saying? So the third question is would would being wrong create a better or worse problem than my current problem for both myself and others? So, you know.